What is going on everybody? Tomorrow, April 8th is going to be the full solar eclipse and many anglers like myself are wondering how that is going to affect fishing. It's going to be Monday, so people are probably not going to be fishing, they're going to be at work, but people like myself, we're going to be off. And I like to fish on days that nobody's out there when people are at work. But the main question is, what is going to happen during the eclipse? Are the fish going to be biting? Is the bite going to be completely shut down? What's going to happen when it gets pretty dark outside, you know? How are the tides going to be affected? So we're going to try to answer those questions here in this short video. I'm very curious. This is going to be a completely new theory for me. I did a lot of research. I scoured the internet. I couldn't really find much in regards to how an eclipse affects fishing. There's a few videos out there mainly talking about fresh water, but we do saltwater fishing in this channel. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? All right, but before we continue, I'd like to ask you, what are your opinions on the eclipse? Do you think the eclipse is going to have a major influence over fish's feeding behavior? Do you think the fish are going to bite more? Do you think they're going to bite less? Do you think the fish is going to be absolutely fire where like the bite is nonstop, nonstop? Or do you think it's going to be pretty dead the entire time? Let me know in the comments, what do you think? And what are your theories? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the most important things during the eclipse, which are going to be the tides. During this event, we're going to have what is called a neat tide. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you what a neat tide looks like on a graphic here. We've got a tides for fishing pulled up. Go ahead and check that out. So the neat tide here, and I'm looking at here is a graph of Monday, April 8th, during the eclipse here. So the lowest tide is gonna be here at 1048. And then the neat tide occurs here, which is gonna be between 1048 and 339. That is gonna be the neat tide because the range from the low and the high tide is very small. So here we go. From 1048 and 339, we're gonna have a huge bite in between there, which is funny because that coincides with the eclipse. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have full totality. Let me see. We're gonna have full totality. Let me pull it up real quick. At 12.06, we enter totality at 13.27, and then we exit totality at 14.27. And that actually coincides within with the major feeding period of the fish during the eclipse. What I wanted to mention is why the tide is gonna be so low here. So, because a new moon is gonna be in front of the sun. New moon, new moon is a keyword. Don't get it mixed up with a full moon because when we have a full moon and a spring tide, the tides are really big. I'm talking about a very low tide that's below normal and then a extra, extra high that's just above normal. And you can see those tides coming and going. I like those tides because the current is flowing, going in through the jetties, the beach, and you get a lot of bites. With this type of tide here, you don't have that much activity, but at least you have a really small window in between tides where you can go out and fish, where you're gonna be like, oh, okay, so between 1048 is a low tide, the high tide is at, at 1539. That's gonna be that I have about two hours of really solid fishing that could happen. All right, so to quickly summarize, this is gonna be a very exciting event. We don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but according to the solonar, the tides, the different types of tidal moons that are going in and out from the ocean into inland it looks like the best time to fish during the eclipse is going to be in between 12 to 2 30 that coincides with the eclipse within full totality when it starts entering entering totality and then when it exits totality so we do know that according to tides for fishing and the solar theory at 12 27 to 2 27 the lunar transit is gonna, the moon is going to be right above right here and that's exactly when we're gonna have the eclipse. So is that gonna really affect fishing that much? I don't know, we will see. I am just as curious and skeptical about this like everybody else. I will be out there. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be at. Probably when, if I go fishing tomorrow, it's gonna be somewhere where there's gonna be a lot of current, where there's gonna be some structure. I might fish um, the beach, I might go to a pier. I might fish a really deep channel. I really don't know yet. It really depends on the conditions. Right now, the water's pretty dirty out in the Gulf of Mexico coming into uh, the Galveston area. So uh, right now, the wind is blowing southeast very subtly, uh, up to 10 miles per hour. So the water is coming in. It's going to be cleaning up. So maybe in the morning tomorrow, it's going to be a lower tide. The water might be a little dirty, but cleaner than it is today. And with this type of tide, I don't think that the water clarity is gonna to be too different. It's not gonna be as dirty as it's been, but it might clean up a bit. If you're fishing the jetty, the water might be cleaner there. The channel might be dirty, but certain parts of the ocean, like up and down the Texas coast, you're gonna have little pockets of greener water coming in 
because of the current. So the wind and the current are very important when you're fishing and when you're looking at tidal movements and water clarity and color. So we'll see, we'll see how the currents are going. We'll see what the water comes in. And of course, at this time of the year, everybody's waiting to get on the Trash King, the Crevel Jack, the Jetty Tuna, the Inshore Tuna, whatever you want to call it. We know it's the Jack. Everybody's waiting on that. So maybe once these winds start picking up a little bit, blowing from the Southeast, we'll have some cleaner water. And who knows, we'll see if the eclipse brings out better fishing, big sharks, big fish, maybe during the eclipse you might be able to catch your pb so we'll see all right well that's it uh, this is pure theory but based on the variables that we have on the internet from the tides the sonar the moon activity the current everything we're able to make a decent hypothesis but tomorrow i will let you know and if something happens and this theory is correct that during the eclipse we're gonna have a fire bite which i think we are I will let you know next week and hopefully I'll post a real good video of big fish, a bunch of big fish. So we'll see, all right? Thanks for watching.